What I want to achieve in this training video is to, first of all, help you set up an email account in your cPanel. And then if you use Gmail, I want to teach you how to set that up inside your Gmail. Okay, so that everything's in one place. So we're going to do two things here. So first of all, let's start with setting up an email in our cPanel. You log into your cPanel and go down to email accounts, click that, and then we're going to create an email. So let's create uh, me at tanyasutherland.com and I'm going to generate a password and I'll be changing this password after guys, but I just want you to see how I do it. I usually open up notepad or something and just put in the password that I am going to be using and then put it aside. Okay. Make sure it's something very strong too. Like whatever they generate for you, use that. So let's create it. And now we've got an email in here. And you can always, with your cPanel, you can check your email right from here. So if you're inside your email accounts icon, you can check it right here. You can just click on it and log right in, use whichever one you want, Horde or RoundCube. And there's your email. Okay, so that you can also access it this way. I'm going to tell you another way. You can just go to your domain. So Tanya Sutherland dot com forward slash webmail and then what you can do is enter the email you created me at tanya sutherland.com and then whatever password you did put it in there and you can log in that way too so if you're out of town you know you can check your email that way as well so that's the webmail way so that's the first thing i wanted to do with you was create that email account so that's number one done. Next, what I want to do for those that are Gmail users, I want to show you how to put this email into your Gmail account. Also, before we go there, uh, if you need to connect devices up, just click the devices over here. So did you see what I did there? I clicked connect devices. And in here, it will tell you exactly uh, whatever you're using, if you're using Outlook, if you're using, I don't know, iPhone, different things like that, it will tell you how to configure it. So let's say you were using Windows Live Mail. It will automatically uh, proceed and set it up for you. I don't have Windows Live Mail, but it would save it all. And then uh, you can click the setup and it'll start it up. Your settings will be down here. So what I often do is I will take a screenshot of this. So I have it handy, but we'll just keep it here for right now. So let's go into our Gmail and set this up. Okay, so I want to explain what I do with my Gmail. I like to have it so that when I send out an email, from my Gmail, it's coming from help at vanetworking.com. It's not coming from vanetworking at gmail.com. And I can choose any of these that I want to send it out to. See, I have all different kinds of email addresses set up here. And so if I wanted it to come from sales at Media Mage, that's where it could come from. So the user will see that when they get the email. They won't see vanetworking at gmail. And it just looks more professional this way. So this is how you set it up. You go into your settings and you're going to choose accounts and import. And you can see I've got all these ones set up here. Okay, so let's add this new account to our Gmail, this new email. Okay, so scroll down and click here, add a mail account, check mail from other accounts. So add a mail account. So we're going to add me at tanyasutherland.com, the one we just created. I'm going to click next and we're going to import emails from my other account. And again, our username is our full email. Our password is whatever we put in a little while ago into when we created it. And 
then we want to label the incoming messages. I label them as this email address, okay, because I want to know what's coming out of that email address. You can label it however you like. Sales, check daily, whatever it is. Okay. But click how you want to label it when it comes in and you add the account. And then it asks you, you can now retrieve mail from this, this account. Would you like to be able to send mail as me at tanyasutherland.com? And yes, I want to be able to do that. You can do this later, but you might as well do it now because it's very simple. So click yes and next. And you want to treat it as an alias and put in your name. Like I put in Tanya Sutherland. You can put in your company name, whatever you want it to be called. And next step, again, your SMTP server is going to be your domain name. Your username is the email. And then that password again, put it in here. And then you want to click Secured Connection using TLS and add the account. And it'll say congratulations, we've successfully uh, located your other server, verified your credentials, just one more step. So they're going to send a confirmation code to that me at Tanya Sutherland. So you have to go to your inbox and click the confirmation code because we want to add this to our Gmail account. You can basically just click this link here and it'll set it up for you. Please confirm, sending as blah, blah, yes. Okay, so now when I go into my Google, I will be able to compose an email and send it from me at tanyasutherland.com. Isn't that cool? And I'll just send it to one of my other emails here just so you can see what it looks like. Test when the other person receives it. So when the other person receives it, when they open it up, it says Tanya Sutherland and me at tanyasutherland.com. And it looks just so much more professional than having VA networking at gmail.com. So I really like this. You can set up as many emails as you want with Gmail and it just looks more professional coming from your domain name and not from your Gmail account. So I hope you like this tip today and if you want more tips like this and coaching with us, please join our VAinsiders.com.